My name's Dave Gilbert with Praetorian Technologies and I'd like to talk to you today about USB switch. It's a 75mm or 3 inch switch with a built in USB interface and it's used principally for accessing switch adapted software. Because it's got a USB interface you can plug a USB cable straight into it and then a full size USB plug can go straight into either a PC a Mac or a Chromebook. No drivers are required, instead the unit will build its own driver the first time it's plugged in and then will work in a matter of seconds. If you want to use it with Android then you can, you just need a slightly different cable and you uh, plug it straight into here and then it has a micro USB plug that goes into the Android and again it will build its own driver. This unit isn't compatible with iDevices such as iPhone or iPod or iPad. Instead, we recommend that you purchase a very similar product to this called iSwitch, which can be viewed elsewhere on this website. Uniquely, USB switch has built-in switch filtering. And I'll say a lot more about that in some subsequent videos that you can view elsewhere on this page. So now I'd like to introduce you to some of the facilities that the USB switch has. It has one integral button and notice that the uh, unit slopes towards the front. In addition to this it's got four non-slip rubber feet so that when you put it down on a surface it doesn't slip. What this means is that if holding your hand over the switch is, is, is difficult then instead the user could put their hand immediately in front of the unit and then roll their hand onto it in order to operate it. As well as the integral switch it also has a pair of sockets at the back which allow you to plug up to two additional switches into the unit. It must terminate in a 3.5mm plug but otherwise any type of switch will do so for example pillow switches or sip and puff switches uh, or squeeze switches are absolutely fine and they just plug straight into the back here. In order to configure each switch we need to use this very simple interface on the bottom of the unit and to demonstrate it I'm going to have to power it up so I'll plug in the cable and then plug it into the PC. Now the integral switch function can be seen by simply pressing the channel button once. When you do that the number 7 lights up which tells me in this particular case, looking at the table here, I've got it set to space. Space is frequently used for scanning, so that's perfect for what I need. If I wanted to use the additional switches, then I also need to set their mode. Let's say, for example, we want to set channel 1, which is actually that socket, to be enter. Now, enter is function number 8. So first of all, I need to select, to select that socket. So I press the channel switch twice and now this LED lights to tell me that it's that socket we're setting and you see it's already set to 8. If I wanted to change it to something different then all I need to do is press mode and it cycles around all the various settings. There are 24 in all and they're a mixture of gamepad settings, mouse settings and keyboard settings. So somewhere in there there will be what you need to use. Using USB switch is simplicity in itself. All you need to do is once you've set the function simply hit the switch. Flamingo. One of the most significant features of the USB switch is its switch filtering capabilities. This allows the switch to be modified for users with tremors, career, slow and laboured movements and in fact any kind of motor difficulties. Please watch the other short videos in this series to learn more about each of these settings.